Deputy President Paul Mashadile has collapsed while addressing the Namidwa Festival, of course, in Limpopo. Let's go live to our reporter, Kokejo Mudao, who's got the latest on that story. So, Kokejo, please tell us what is the latest. What actually happened leading to the Deputy President? Uh, Kokejo, are you there? What can you tell us uh, traditional about... Traditional council here in Namidwa, just outside Zaneng. This is where they were celebrating today the Namidwa Day, where we saw the Deputy President, Paul Mashadile, was delivering uh, his um, keynote speech here but unfortunately something happened he collapsed from the podium and uh, he was also taken out uh, by the security officials and also the officials from the presidency uh, and took him um, we, we at this moment we don't know where he is now but i want to bring in the premier of limpopo here may dr popira matuba thank you so much for joining us here on sabc news uh, dr popira matuba just take us through what really happened today I think what what happened is that uh, it could be as a result of heat and which might have led into probably dehydration as the deputy president was addressing um, when he paused. That's when we got worried and then uh, we then were able to help him out of the stage. I wouldn't say he had collapsed because I didn't see him collapsing. Remember I was sitting right behind him and when uh, Miss Mashatile uh, said to me uh, let's observe him and then we could see it's somebody I could see somebody who was uh, posing in the middle of, of, of it was the end actually he was concluding his speech and then uh, we then together with uh, his protectors were able to assist him uh, to take him to go but we must reassure the people of this country that the deputy president is in good spirit is fine we've checked all his vitals we, we are satisfied we are mm. but south africans out there are panicking because you know you, you understand that we are living in the world of social media where news are just spreading so fast and uh, most people are asking themselves as to how is the president doing and where is he now the president is fine the deputy president uh, the is deputy fine. president rather yeah. the deputy president is fine he's with his medical team personally i was with them so i'm satisfied i'm happy i was with them he's okay and that's what we can tell south africans there's no need to worry you are here with me south africans who are not with me here don't understand the heat that we are going through you could also feel yourself that you are when you talk you can't even finish a sentence without looking for water because of the level for the heat how we are sweating you can see it's very hot for someone who's not used this particular weather you would understand that uh, really this place is very hot today and i think uh, that could have uh, contributed uh, as i've said but all what we can reassure you as the provincial government of Limpopo is the deputy president of this country it's fine it's okay all right so maybe the, the last thing that I want to understand um, is there no other medical challenge that the deputy president perhaps is facing is it only the heat uh, that we are experiencing in this village today I have told you yeah. with the medical knowledge that I have yes. the deputy president has been checked for any other and there's no need for you and I to worry about. Me and you should just understand as a result of the heat, the deputy president has gone as, 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 as experienced dehydration. Hence, we keep on saying, let's drink a lot, lots and lots of water. Hence, we we're telling even the people here, let them drink water. And we are also saying to anyone in this particular area, in this province, or in the pa any part of South Africa, where we know the temperature is very high at this given time, let's continue to drink a lot of water. Because we are sweating, we are losing water together with electrolytes. That could have happened to anybody. So I'm saying to you, the deputy president has got no any other condition for you and I to worry about. The challenge that he's facing, it's something that the doctors have been able to manage. And for, he is in good spirit as we speak now.
Okay, uh, the, just the last thing, maybe, um, because we understand that he was moved from this, this venue. Where is he now? But, but you must understand that even if we want to, uh, when, when you experience that, you, you should understand that we cannot go there and say, let's start to check his blood pressure, his blood sugar in front of everybody. You should understand that. So that's why we had to move him to an area where, as the medics, we can be given an opportunity to be able to take care of him, which we have done. As to where it is, I don't think it's necessary for you and I to know. What is important for you to know is that the Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa, it's in good spirit, he's fine. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. That is the Premier of Limpopo, Dr. Popira Matuba, you know, clarifying and taking South Africans into confidence that the Deputy President is currently in good spirit. Uh, it, he just, uh, you know, collapsed because of the heat here. And I can tell you, indeed, it's very hot here. We arrived here, you know, just around 9 o'clock. It was extremely hot. It's, it's, it's even heat. I mean, it's, it's still hot up to, up to now. And I can tell you that uh, according to the information we got from Dr. Popira Matuba is that uh, the taken the, the deputy president to the place of safety where um, he's well, uh, you know, taken care of.